So I'm using the pattern to shape out the pocket. So now that the paper is folded into two, the closed part is towards the center front and the open part is to the side. So I'll get the length and the width of the desired pocket. This one here is 11 inches long and 7 inches wide. I then come in from the side by two inches. Then I measure down seven inches as the length of the the, the, the slot that I'm going to um, make there at the side. Okay, so in by seven, in by two inches and down by seven inches. This is the same slanted piece you're going to put on the um, the main part, the, the the front panel to make the um to make the pocket. So on the front panel, you're going to cut off that slanted part there. Okay, so two inches in and seven inches down. So I'm going to shape out the pocket. You can make a curve at the bottom as well as you can leave it just like it is. In this tutorial though you will notice that um, I made the curve on the right side of the pocket which makes the pocket look a bit wonky but it doesn't really matter how the pocket looks because it's going to be underneath but you must ensure that a side slant parted part there is aligned to the front panel. I'm just cutting out the pocket now. At this point, you can make adjustment to your pocket. You can shape it to how you want it and to the size that you want it.
See how wonky this pocket look? So you're gonna stitch it around there and you're gonna do the zigzags to make it neat at the bottom. This is the waistband. You cut the length to the desired waist measurement and you cut it four inches wide because the waistband itself will be about um, one and a half inches wide. So half inch on each side for the stitching allowance. See, I find the center and I ironed it. And then I turn the two edges up by half an inch and then I iron, iron those as well. You can also iron in iron the interfacing on it, but it must be um, ironed on the back part of the band when folded. That is the side which will be on the outside when you put the trousers on. This is a fly. This piece I will put interfacing on this piece here. I curve the bottom. Now the fly area is um, eight and a half inches by two and a half inches. And this piece there is 7.5 inches by one and a half inches. So I stitch the bottom of the fly area. See, stitch the bottom. You zigzag on the open side. After you flipped it over, remember to add stitching allowance on these two pieces. So I just zigzag stitch on the open side. So um, the zip is seven inches long. I'll be stitching it onto the, the fly first right there I zigzag that part as well stitch along there So you, you stitch it all the way down to where that metal part is. So stitch it down to that part. So turn this under by about half an inch. This is the part you're going to put, you're going to base on to the zip here. You can iron it on you can iron this part of it, make it flat, and then you're going to base it on now to the fly 
part like this. And you're going to stitch down and stop at the notch. Remember that notch that you made original on the pattern. You're going to stop there. Stitch it right down to there, not beyond it. And just stitch it right down to where the notch is. This piece now is going to go on the other side of the panel. This is the right side. You stitch, stitch down to where you have the notch as well and stop. So this is the pocket. And this is the front panel. So you are stitching that side part there, about half an inch stitch in allowance. And we are touch it, stopping at the notch as well that we made. Now, there you go. That's how it looks. Now, when you turn it over, you're gonna do top stitch. You're gonna either top stitch on the the panel itself, or you can just top stitch on the pocket bag. Make sure the raw edges turn towards the pocket bag. Now you're going to iron it now to keep it flat down that area. Note that the a pocket has two different um, colored um, fabric. Okay, now this piece here, this piece is the piece that's going to be shown when you put your trousers on. So you're going to attach it onto the pocket bag. Alright, you can zigzag it all around it. You're going to make sure to get your two inches. 
there Okay, for the pocket bag, now you're gonna stitch underneath there, and then you're gonna zigzag it, as I said before. Oh, this is exactly like this that I'm showing you now. That part they will be shown when you put the trousers on. See what it looks like. So on this one here is two different colors. So you have to put that piece there to cover that other color. Okay. Just put that there. Now you need to stitch these two areas now to keep the pocket in place. So make a stitch there and stitch across there to keep it in place. Then you can just clip off that little piece at the top. Putting this part away, doing the other side now, doing the exact same thing on the other side, okay. This is what the, the waistband looks like when I ironed on the interfacing. I've stopped to teach on the 
a piece as well. Now I'm going to join now the um, the crutch area. So I'm attaching the front panel, the two front panels. So I'm attaching down there before I put the zip in. I find it much easier that way. So I'm attaching it and I'm going to um, stitch to right where I've got my notch. And pass it. It is right where the zip is going to stop. Okay, so that is done. So stitch it down and stop there, right where you have that metal bit to stop down there. Okay. Then I'll be attaching now the other side of the zip to the other side of the panel. So when the zip is in place now, this side must cover the zipper on the other side. Let me show you. You see? A little adjustment here. Hmm. 
to it, it covers it, covers the zipper, the zipper is not shown. Okay. If you don't get that, that means something is wrong. So that piece must be covered, that part rather. So now I'll be making the curve, but you usually see in trousers. So first I'll stitch this zipper part in, then I'll make the curve. Okay. To get it neat, you can measure it. I made this one was one and a quarter um, wide, this curve here. Okay. You curve it below the zipper stop. Now I'm pinning the the fly back. I'm pinning it back so it doesn't get stitched in when I'm doing the curve. So I'm pinning it back. See, it's done. As you can see, the zip is covered. Everything is neat. So I'm taking out the pins now. So look now, I'm going to just stitch that little part there, the two pieces there together at the bottom. So when you open the, the zipper, you don't see all the way down into the pants leg. Right. See, it's closed. All right, it's closed off down there. Putting that aside. This here is the back panel, the two back pieces. First, I'm going to stitch the dart. Look, make sure your dart is about three and a half inches long. It doesn't have to be this long. Okay, I'm back at the front now, so I'm measuring to make sure I get the the correct uh, waist measurement. I realize this is a bit big, so what I'm doing here, I'm making a pleat on each side because it's a bit too big, so I'm making pleats on both sides.
measuring again to ensure I get my desired waist measurement. So I'm going to just stitch uh, the, um, the pleats. This is the bottom of the um, trousers. I'm going to close it off. I'm going to start from the ankle up. Okay. So make sure they align. Around the notches. So I'm closing off the sides, closing off the crutch area right onto the ankle, but I'm going to leave the center back for last in case I want to make any other adjustment. Now after I've closed off everything and tried it on, I realize there's that part there is a bit big, just below the pocket to above the, um, the knee a bit loose so I've taken in about uh, three quarters of an inch you can see the red thread okay I've taken in that part there to make it fit So when you're drafting then, maybe um, half an inch allowance is enough. Didn't need a one and a half inch up to that point. You could use one inch if you want to be on the safe side. But I use one and a half inch up there and that makes it a bit big. When I get my desired um, waist measurement now, I'm going to now close off the center back. So this is the center back, I'll be closing it off now. So, this is the first fitting after I've taken off the three quarters of an inch from the side. Tell me what you think. It feels comfortable now. So 
So now that I'm comfortable with the fitting, I'm now attaching the waistband. To the right side of the band, to the wrong side of the trousers. Remember the interfacing part must be at the back. So look carefully what I'm doing. So you're attaching attaching it to the to the waist using the um the half an inch um stitching allowance that you had um ironed down. Remember that part that you had ironed down? So I'm I'm attaching it now using half an inch stitching allowance. Okay, when I finish stitching it down now, this is how I'm doing the the end, this end here. Look. Now that you just teach, you can clip off what you don't need. The interface is lifting up, but that's okay. Pushing the raw edge under and up into the the waistband. So the raw edge goes up into the waistband. Right, and then you cover over it like so. And then you stitch it. At the other end, this is what we do. Fold it under, turn those edges up. Okay, and then you stitch it down. Okay, so you just clip off this here, but at the at end, that's what you do at the end to close it off. Okay, now you've seen it. This is the final fitting. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Help me to grow my channel. Remember, it's free to subscribe. It costs nothing. So I've also um, done the surgeon on the on 